Alrighty, we have arrived at Disney Springs. We're at Lime Garage. And it doesn't look like there's any way to get in. Saturday at 5.45 p.m. Going on in for our first time since Disney Springs reopened. As we make our way down, you can see what they got going on here for the temperature screening we got to go through. All right, thank you. Hello. Ooh, I want to get this. Let's do it. Temperatures. I sure hope I got that recorded right. All right, friends, holding his head down low. Why are you upset? So I oh, you don't touch the mask. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! So he was upset because he came down the thing and he actually was uh, out of habit, yeah, yeah, touched the handrail, and I said, "Don't worry, they got these everywhere." But then you grabbed your mask. Unbelievable! All right, put it back up. Got to sanitize my mask. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Don't want to get kicked out when we just get here. There we go. They got the balloons. So, I don't know. There's a pretty healthy crowd here, surprisingly. I didn't think there was that many people in the parking lot, but they're parking in both Lime and Orange, so I guess that's, that's a pretty good-sized crowd, actually. So we were at Icon Park on International Drive a little earlier today. Not that long ago now, actually, there was a lot less people there, of course, and different atmosphere. Here, because it's the rules, everyone's got a mask on. At Icon Park, hardly anyone had a, a mask on. But then again, you know, there was far fewer people. So social distancing was not an issue. It's very hot and humid today. All right, my phone cut off, but anyway, back on it. So he's already finished the water, but that was a nice thing at the Polite Pig there. They gave Brenna free water because it is hot and humid today. So he was dying of thirst. I'm doing pretty good though. So we're gonna wander around and see what uh, more sights and sounds from one end of Disney Springs to the other. The line for the world of Disney does not seem terrible at all. It just literally just goes right to here. Very short line. Is this the line to get in? Yes. Or is this like a return line? This is, this is like. Oh. This is just the line to get in. It's only a couple minutes. All right, it's only a couple minutes to get in. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. And it changes a little bit once we get up to here. All right, here we go. We're next. That's the most exciting thing when you're next. Our turn. Hello. Thank you. Wow, it's like not very crowded. Yeah, we've been in here before when it's incredibly crowded. Kind of refreshing to see it. Not so many people. Social distancing is a good thing when you're at the World of Disney. Any time of year, any time, virus or no virus, it'd be good to have this kind of lack of crowd. Sometimes it's like elbow to elbow in here when I've been in here in the past. Ooh, look at these. I like that. Epcot. What do you want to look for, Brent? Um, well, I guess just see what's new around here, see what's going on. Maybe there's new um, Disney um, t-shirts and stuff, new themes. Oh, Mr. Toad. Kind of like that style, right there. That's the new style they came out with. Where's that? Right there, you can see. Oh, ink and paint? Ink and paint, yeah. Ink and paint? There's an example right there. Maybe there's some new style like that. Oh, look at these, transparent. Kind of, kind of gives me like a throwback to like the 
70s or 80s, somewhere in that range, when they used to have these visors. They weren't like a full baseball hat. It was just a visor with a clear transparent, uh, transparent rim. I don't know if anyone remembers those. Going way back to early Walt Disney World for that. I've been tempted to buy these plates every time I saw them in the parks when they first came out, but I have yet to uh, to do it. You can see the what the plates look like. They're pretty cool looking. This whole area in here, last time I was in here was not an ink and paint display set up at Star Wars. So I don't know, somewhere in here they must have moved the Star Wars stuff. Because it used to be right where I'm standing now. There's a Mandalorian section with Baby Yoda. Or Baby Yoda. Your mask go, keep it on. Ooh. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I have no idea what that that you know that thing is. Kind of reminds me of a porta potty, but I know it's not. <laughs> Mystery solved. All that was was one of these vending things but they want to have people only go to one and not both so they put a big cover over the one so people don't go you know eliminate one of them and keep one active so that was the world of disney oh you almost spit on me forgot about that so disney photo pass is closed that's they have two uh photo booths set up in there for those who want to get some pretty cool Disney photos where they change the background up on one of them. That would kind of all different kind of Disney scenes, the castle, you name it. The other one was more like a standard backdrop where you could take a nice family photo. Really cool deal, especially for annual pass holders because it's free. You've gotten lots of pictures taken there. Here we are at Once Upon a Toy. Sorry we are closed. Sorry, so I guess they haven't opened all the Disney stores yet. Another checkpoint there coming in from the Hotel Plaza Way. The void is definitely closed. That's gotta be rough trying to sanitize all that equipment after every use. We'll have a rough time figuring out how to open that up. Now it's totally sad to see this closed. We just wanna see a bunch of kids having a good time. There's very few things like rides, of course, at Disney Springs, there's pretty much this and this little train ride over there. It's too bad they're not operational, so kids can do something besides just shop. <laughs> Star Wars Trading Post is closed, but the art corner looks open. Rainforest Cafe, I believe, is open, but we're gonna go straight through here. There is nobody in here except the people who work here. You can get your name. You see a Brent anywhere around here, Brent? No? This gentleman doing someone's dog. Yeah, and that uh, up on the screen shows what he does. The program I use is actually uh, designed to illustrate comic books. Nice. everyone we're on this end of the little pond here we're gonna walk over and check out the Lego store next and then we're gonna head our way down to the other side of Disney Springs so I was wrong before they are not open yet I thought the rainforest cafe was open but they are not neither is the lava lounge
This is an exit only, so they got different ways in, Brent. All right, exits one way, right there. Well, let's go see the rest of Disney Springs. So, T-Rex is open. In case anyone's wondering. So I wonder why the Rainforest Cafe is not open, but T-Rex is. Okay, right across from Paddlefish, Brent noticed something we've, you know, as far as I know, this could have been here for a long time since they renovated this area, but I don't remember ever seeing this fountain. It looks kind of new. There's not too much mold or wear on it. Yeah, it's pretty it's cool looking. It's the pigeons on the top, but not too much else. If you know if this is new or if it's just been here for a while, we never noticed it, leave a comment down below. Boathouse is open, but not Amphicar. They often have entertainment right there at night, and of course they've shut all the entertainment down here for the time being, so to create some spacing and some seating areas, they put these little couches over there. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jack Lindsay's hangar bar is not open. Raglan Road closed. Looks like Sprinkles is Deluxe Burger. I think that's where we want to go to, Brent. Never eaten here. Don't know if it's any good. I bet it is though. But it's open. I like some of this artwork you'll find around Disney Springs. Kind of obscure up there. Easily missed. There's Blaze Pizza. They are open. We've had pizza there, I think, a couple of times. It's pretty good. Planet Hollywood looks open. At least their back porch is. So as we made our way down to the west side of Disney Springs, you can see that the amount of people seems to be about consistent with what was on the far side with Disney stores and so forth. The arrow file is closed. A little sign there says due to thunderstorms in the area. And Disney style hasn't opened up yet. They're still closed. See, they're currently closed due to thunderstorms. It's flashing on the camera, but not in real life. I think Star Wars Galactic Outpost is closed too. 
Yeah, I can see the sign door, so Galactic Outpost is closed. Starbucks is open. Who would think, uh, I don't know what time it is now, 6.30, 7, something like that, on a Saturday night with this section, which is always particularly crowded, have this few people in it. That's amazing. Hey, look at that. The Amplicar is open. Oh. It said closed back there, but there's somebody in it. Wonder what's the deal with that. Yeah, somebody got some Disney magic going on. And this is also one of the areas where they often have live entertainment. If they didn't put any couches over here. The food trucks that used to be right here, they're all gone right now. There used to be three of them. Now all three are gone. If you ever come to Disney Springs, especially at night when there's a sunset and nice weather, if you walk down this pathway here, everyone walks over there. But if you walk down this path, of course, this used to be bongos right here, so it was prettier with the big pineapple. Totally gone now. They're going to build something else. But this would be a very pretty path because the sun would set right over there. Just absolutely gorgeous right here. So if you ever decide to walk from that end down to the far end, think about trying to take this path sometime when you're here instead of in the midst of the crowd, which does not exist tonight, but normally would. So Brent, how many uh, food trucks do they usually have right here? They always have one here. They used to have three. One, two, and three. This guy's open. The Candy Cauldron is closed. So, so is the, the Marvel, Marvel store. Pele's Soccer's open. Oh, and of course, Family Cigar, your favorite place. <laughs> we still marvel at the fact that any place that has to do with smoking would have family in its name. I noticed that it has SOS in the name. SOS, that's right. Good, good call. <laughs> Help me, I'm a smoker. I'm addicted. Ain't nobody in there right now. Can't miss the smell though when you walk by it. I always have to hold my breath. <laughs> my apologies in advance to any of you cigar fans out there, but sorry, it's just we're no fans of that. Hey, look at that. There's Star Troopers. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. AMC theaters are closed, but the Star Troopers are keeping guard, right? Yeah. But they're still playing Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Think they're going to say something? Like, move along. Move along. No? Jaleo is still closed. See how shifty they look? I think they're up to something. Inspired against the first order. Yeah, I think they're talking about me. Then how do you explain those droids? They can barely walk. Those are children. There they go. So Splitsville is closed, and I don't even see any reason to really walk down there. There is doesn't look like anything is open down there. House of Blues, NBA Experience, and of course Cirque du Soleil, which we know is not not open. They were going to do that new Disney Drawn to Life version of Cirque du Soleil, and who knows what's going to happen with that now, or when that's ever going to come back. 
Now I just, it just occurred to me, as I see people trying to take selfies of their whole families, that oftentimes people would walk up to them and say, hey, can I? Hey, whoop, wait. look at those two. Who? Those two. There. Hello. They look suspicious. <laughs> Might be resistant spies. <laughs> I believe they are a couple. A couple of spies. No. Okay, someone's a little on edge. Look there, a spy carrying an infant. Uh, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> What I was talking about over there with the selfies before the stormtroopers started to do their thing was that I think it's kind of a shame that I think what we're going to see a lot less of is in the future when a family's trying to get a picture together, you'd often find someone look at them and walk over real friendly and say, hey, you, you want me to get that photo for you and your family, right? And they would grab that person's phone and take some pictures of them. I don't think we're going to be seeing that anytime soon. People aren't going to want to be holding and touching someone else's cell phone. They're missing half their light. Maria's not lit up. So STK is open, but the Edison is not. And neither is Maria and Enzo's, even though their door is open. It said, sorry, we're closed. Looks like Paradiso 37 is open. Well, I'm not going to give this a try, but I think this actually is still operational because I got this right next to it. I hear more stormtroopers in the distance. Kids would love to spin that wheel and then it would bring the water up here and spill out. Let's go see if those are stormtroopers over there I'm hearing. So here's the other set of stormtroopers. We had them down by AMC Theaters and now here they are. They're taking over Disney Springs. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at <laughs> He's staring at me. Keep moving. And hey, have a good time. <laughs> that was harsh. We're here to watch for resistance activity. And to let them enjoy themselves. Well, I ordered them to have a good time. Maybe he's talking to them. Well, I noticed that even the mannequins are, you know, being safe with the mask, but they're not social distancing. Look at that. Not six feet apart at all. But they got the mask on, so they got it half right. It's gotten a little crowded, uh, a little more crowded than when we got here. Now that we've walked back down this end. All right, everyone, as you can tell, we have left Disney Springs. This downpour started just as we were leaving. I couldn't record anything because my phone uh, died, actually, so I had to plug it into the car, but that's what happened when we left. So we left at the perfect time. And you right can see- Right before the rain. Right before the rain, as the rain started. And right there, I don't know if you can even tell, but if we drive home, we're driving right past the Magic Kingdom main uh, entrance gate for uh, the parking lot right on the right and boy this is some kind of downpour yeah just before we started recording like it wasn't too bad but now it's like really bad it's raining a lot all right everyone i don't know if you can see the castle there on the left there's space mountain it's officially summer in florida every day Ooh, it's a big lightning this is what happens it has begun. We went through uh, most of this coronavirus shutdown. Beautiful weather every day for almost two straight months. But now it's starting every day. Wow. Massive downpour. It hasn't rained this hard in a very long time. I know. It's been beautiful here for so long. And it's still beautiful here. Just. Every day it's gonna rain like this, that's all. <laughs> At least for Tron a ride. While. Most people probably know that's the Tron ride that they're building. Think that crane gets hit by lightning, Brent? That would be bad. 
Yeah, it does. <laughs> 